Alright, welcome to 23 Degrees Sideways. This one's kind of an off-the-wall topic right now, but I was discussing some uh, factors of food storage and preparation for emergencies with our pets. So, most of my family unit practices a carnivore or near-carnivore diet. And a carnivore diet is, or even a, a very heavy meat keto diet, is something that is very difficult to get your head around when it comes to long-term food storage, preparations for an emergency, or just preparations for the seasons. There's not a lot of food preservation when you get into strict carnivore or strict natural-oriented high-fat keto. We feed our dogs primarily a raw animal carnivore diet, although sometimes cooked. So what I'm going to do here is set up a basic schedule of things that would work if you want to set up some long-term food storage for yourself or your pets or whatever on a high-fat keto or carnivore diet. Now, <clears throat> for humans, pemmican, traditionally made pemmican, which is 80% fat and 20% very dry ground lean or shredded lean, is a uh, very long-term stable food provided you keep it in a freezer. It's long-term stable outside of a freezer, just cool, dry place, but once you get it into a freezer in a vacuum-sealed bag, you're pretty much good for 10 or 20 years. It will keep for a very long time. So the idea there is to just make it once in a while, um, not worry too much about rotation, but do eat it once in a while. You don't have to follow a kind of a schedule thing like I'm about to explain with canning meat. So meat can be canned. You need a pressure canner, and there are there are different recipes and things. One of the most common ways to do it is a stew or a chili. However, you don't have to have onions, spices, peppers, or anything in there. It can literally just be meat in its own juice in a crock pot with some salt, and you pressure can it. What you want to do is find a recipe for that, and then pressure can. Usually a pressure canner is going to hold seven quarts. So you do two runs once every three months. That gives you 14 quarts. And that's four times a year, once every three months. Which means that at the end of the first year, you will have 56 quarts. We have a number of dogs on the property. So two quarts is a day. Okay, that's, that's two quarts of canned, preserved dog food would be about a day. And so... 14 quarts is a week. Look at things in terms of I need to have two years of food. I tend to look at things more in terms of I need two weeks of really good solid food, two months of lesser rations. Um, I want adequate intake, input, energy levels and stuff, but I don't need to make it top of the line foods. Um, and it can get a little weird and funky in terms of ingredients when you get there. More liver, more organ meats, there's, there's stuff in there. And I figured that that, in most cases, in situations where I've dealt with food scarcity, that's going to be extensible from two months to four or five months with scrounging, harvesting, hunting, what have you. And at that point, if we're, if we're really looking at six weeks or two months, the shift from full carnivore to more keto is probably going to happen, okay? It's, th th there's a lot of complications in there and a lot of things where you have to look at how absolute you need to be in terms of a dietary preference. If you were to run two, two batches out of your pressure canner every three months, and that's 14 quarts each run, you've got 56 quarts at the end of the first year. At that point in time, you want to start rotating through. You have 56 jars of food, whether it be your keto stew or dog food. What you do is you break out one of those per week, okay, with the occasional extra to make up the other four. 52 weeks in a year, if you cycle through one a week, you will maintain that 56 for ever, indefinitely. 
as long as you, you, you cycle through. After the first year, you just need to make sure that you eat, ingest, use, feed to the dogs one jar a week <clears throat> and maintain your canning regimen. That's pretty simple, and that's not a totality for us because we also have freezers and dehydrators. So that's, that's very basic, okay? Canned, meat-based chilies with no beans, no carbs. Stews, just plain canned salted meat. That's all very good, and it will work very well. For us, at our level of consumption, that would probably be, well, that's four weeks of dog food, if we're talking about the dog situation. It's probably about two weeks of food for the people on the property because we're looking at something closer to four quarts a day. I don't know what this has to do with 23 degrees sideways, but I thought that I would throw in a little bit of very basic common sense math into the prepper world. So, stay sideways.